How's it going, everybody? We're back watching Bungo Stray Dogs, and Happy New Year. You know what they say, New Year, same everything else. That's not entirely true. We are in a new backdrop. I'm still on vacation, so I'm currently at my girlfriend's apartment with her dog cowering in the corner and my girlfriend upstairs tolerating this. But just because you guys are rudely interrupting my vacation and degrading my will to live, doesn't mean I'm not excited to get back into the swing of things. So let's get into it. If we plowed the land, we could grow a nice orchard here. Shall I capture the girls? You'd just end up ripping their heads off if we used your ability. I'm calling it right now. Lovecraft's ability has to be tentacles. How could you not give a Lovecraft-inspired character tentacle powers? What else would it be? Racism? Why don't we use mine instead? Beg your pardon? Beg your sweet little pardon? Who is this? This is the Grapes of Wrath guy? No chance this happens in Grapes of Wrath. This dude is way more grapes than wrath. This dude's more grapes than man. Is the book actually about grapes? I was always under the assumption that it was not. Actually, this could be a fun game. I've never read Grapes of Wrath. So we're gonna see if I could discern what the book's about based on this character's powers. That must have been scary. Apologies, my ladies. <laughs> Tell me, do either of you know much about grapevines? I have a feeling I'm not gonna win this game. Here's my current guess. <laughs> Is it about slavery? I was under the assumption that the grapes were metaphorical, <laughs> but now I'm not so sure. This guy looks like a southern farmer, and he just said milady, so I'm gonna guess it's about like a southern grape plantation. Does that make sense, or do I sound like an idiot? Thanks, Sarah. Look, I know very little about grapes, and even less about history. I'm not entirely confident on this one. Do either of you know much about grapevines? What they do is, they seek out other plants to attach themselves to, and then graft their shoots together. Oh, this dude heard me and said, here comes your grape lesson, son! All I need is a little favor. I have a really large family back home. Every time we have dinner, it feels almost like a war zone. Does this guy need a... Date for Thanksgiving dinner? What is his favor? I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. The work's a bit seedy, but the pay itself is quite good. <laughs> ha! Seedy. Because of the... That's good. <laughs> That's why Kunikita's the best character in this show. This dude's like, I use my vines to manipulate the foliage around me. Once I've tapped into their DNA, they fall completely under my control. And Kunikita's just like, yeah, I use my gun to manipulate this bullet into the back of your head. You remove any means of attack. Dopo poetry! See, this guy's like, I've disarmed you. What are you gonna use to attack me now? Bitch, another gun! Junichiro, use your ability to hide! Oh, yep, there's the tentacles. Watch this dude just be a bunch of squids inside of a trench coat. That's why Kunikita's bullets didn't work on him. What else can I do? I'm borrowing your sister for a bit. <laughs> what are you going to do with Naomi? Oh no, don't piss off the guy with a completely non-offensive ability. What are you gonna do, buy another hair clip, sweetheart? That's strange. Hasn't the driver noticed us by now? No way! You know what? Fair. Don't fight in the middle of the road. At first I was gonna rag on Janichiro for just getting lucky here, but if anything, they're all lucky a truck hasn't come sooner. Do we look like part of the road to you? I like how he just thinks this guy's a terrible driver. Like, he has no idea Janichiro's the one causing this. He's just like, Jesus, Japanese drivers don't give a fuck! How unexpected. Do you know where they went? I can't sense them. I'm surprised you can sense anything from the neck down the way your head's twisted. I'm sorry. Yo, hit that kid. What, are you gonna just stand there and see if she has any abilities? I, I think she's got some abilities. This kid looks like the Soul Eater Moon. The world's better without her. So, what do you want from me? Doesn't this gun tell you what we want? Yeah, but you not pulling the trigger is sending some mixed messages. I mean, take Gein here, for example. I remember when you were only this big. You were such a dainty little lass. Uh, don't 
change the subject. Oh, hold up. We got an undercover cutie in our midst. All right, Gein. You know what? No. All right, Queen. <laughs> what is this? He has razor blades taped to his arm. Oh my god. We did it. We found the edgiest character in anime history. I get it now. They're perfect. Everything about their aesthetic is perfect. I'm surprised this character isn't on the shirt of every emo 8th grader in America. Along with an Invader Zim hoodie, some fingerless gloves, and a red plaid skirt over some torn fishnet leggings. You know, what am I talking about? It's 2023. Make that a Persona 5 hoodie. He has the most vile gift of them all. The ability to control people's minds. Oh, come on. That's not the most vile ability. What about Rompo's ability to remain employed despite being an insufferable prick? However, even when this event is triggered, only a designated receiver is affected. In order to be targeted by Q, that person has to hurt him. Oh, whoa. That's why he's covered in razor blades. Oh, that's actually sick. I, for some reason, I thought he did it because it looked cool. So... You know, I don't know what that says about me. It'd be kind of cool, too, though, if instead of razor blades taped to his arms, he had, like, needles half-pressed into his skin, so then whenever he bumped into somebody, it just, like, fully stuck in. Once again, some very concerning things coming out of my mouth here. What I really look forward to is breaking you! Remember how you made me suffer? Soon you're gonna feel the pain, Mr. Daza! Nice, I love this kid. You know the second this train takes off, he's gonna whip out his PSP and start playing Danging Rampa while listening to Pierce the Veil on his ginormous cat ear headphones. Hello, young one. <laughs> you alone? Why are you here? I agreed to make a little deal with Mr. Dazai. Why do I feel like I skipped an episode? Like, I even checked. This is definitely the right episode. But, like, what happened to all the cliffhangers of the last one? What happened with Chuya? How did Dazai torture this woman? What happened to Nathaniel Hawthorne? Not that I care. I feel like a whole arc got resolved off screen. You need to get out of here, Dazai. Right now. Tell everyone at the agency <sighs> that their lives are in danger and that they- I don't think he heard you. Been waiting long? <clears throat> oh my god, always with the tiger hands. How about you get a new move, Beast Boy? Such a predictable reaction. How dull. Oh look, now you got me agreeing with F. Scott Fitzgerald. That was a really nice kick. I'd say it was worth about ten grand. Oh god, you never want the villain appraising your attacks. I'm right back to where I started. Hold it. Hmm? <sighs> Oh, let's go! I love when Kiyoka gets involved. Brief episode transition, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you get access to exclusive reaction videos, an exclusive Discord server, and access to all the VODs of the live streams I've recorded in the past and will record in the future. On top of that, you'll just be helping out the channel immensely, especially now in these trying times as YouTube engages in a war against swearing. I don't know if you guys have heard, but right now, no content creator knows how frequently or to what severity they're allowed to swear while still staying monetized. But I guess that's why we got the Patreon. But if Patreon's not your thing and you still want some more content, make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal. There I do video game and movie analysis videos that are still comedy, but not reactions, so they don't belong here. Both my Patreon link and my second channel link will be in the description below. And now, on to the next one. Name's Kyoka. Oh. <laughs> what a barbaric display! You just kicked the shit out of Atsushi. What did she do that was crossing the line? She is approximately 14 years of age. Take any necessary precautions. Tell me, young lady, how old are you? 15? Oh, well, carry on then. <laughs> oh, whoa! Right on the money! I used her rubber bullets so we don't seriously hurt her, but it will sting like hell. Yeah, man, you be proud of that shot. That was what- Mark Twain?! What do you mean, Mark Twain?! Mark Twain just sniped a little girl! I love how this show will just have some badass show up, swinging around katanas, and then just be like, You really think you're prepared to defeat me, Shell Silverstein? Give him back! I'm ready, Mr. Melville. Understood.
Oh, hello, Herman. Looking like a real confidence man with that ascot and beard. I'd like to get a peep at his Polynesian life. Oh, what, you wanted Moby Dick jokes? What do you think I am, some kind of hack? It's been a while, my old friend. I know we've only just met, but allow me to give you some advice. That's so hype. So what, in this world, Ahab caught the whale and turned it into a Gundam? Oh. Here you are. A dachshund. Uh, no thanks. That is the most faithful this show has ever been towards one of its authors. That is exactly what Lovecraft would do if confronted with this situation. One, two, three! There! God, this kid is hardcore. Now, show me, mister. Show me true madness! Well, you came to the right guy for that, kid. In critical condition, she may never wake up. It should have been you, Hawthorne! A dachshund. Yeah, you keep working on it, buddy. This, like, whatever arc is going on right now, has without a doubt been my favorite part of the show so far. Watching all of these American authors have silly interactions with each other has just been a delight. Oh my god, I pray that by the end of this arc, Lovecraft learns how to make a dachshund. We are looking for a particular book. A book? That's hilarious. Of course they're looking for a book. I'm surprised this hasn't come up sooner. It's said to be impervious to any amount of firepower or type of special abilities. Someone with a gift foresaw that it would be found sealed away here in Yokohama. Please tell me they're looking for the Spiderwit Chronicles. That's not improbable. If it's the description. <laughs> This is our emergency plan. We call it the Yokohama Incineration Operation. Yeah, you know, I would have expected a slightly less tacky name from one of America's famous authors, but whatever. It's not like I ever asked to have this ability in the first place. So why do all of these terrible things have to happen because of me? Hey, who's the one going around with razor blades taped to their biceps? Don't give me this whole I didn't ask for this shtick. Nobody asked you to wrap your hands in barbed wire. All that's left for me to do is destroy this doll. Wait! Hey! I give up! The agency and I will help you accomplish whatever it is you're after! Hey guy, I bet that gun's a lot more effective actually pointed at Atsushi. Have you ever been tortured with a hot iron poker? You have absolutely no idea how much pain and agony I went through to get these scars! She's got you there, Atsushi. <laughs> Your skin burns every time you move. When were you tortured? What, at the orphanage? How am I just now hearing about this? All you ever do is complain about the orphanage hurting your feelings. I didn't know they actually beat you. And then, you can rescue me from this place someday. I'll be waiting. Ooh, somebody's got a little crush on the were-tiger. More like when, tiger. More, more like when you're getting under my covers, tiger. All right then. If you have a moving target and you need to blow it out of the sky, just leave it to me. Why is Mark Twain like a master marksman? Wait. No, that, that, that can't be the reason. No way it's because his name is Mark. So, how's our tiger boy doing? He passed out from the blast. At this rate, he'll be dashed to pieces for sure. But weren't you given the order not to kill him? Way to not even attempt to make this guy look anything like Mark Twain, by the way. Have you guys seen Mark Twain? The dude looks like Jack Frost. He looks like the Norse god of shaving cream. It's you. Of course. Oh, nice. Atsushi's having his own little Naruto moment here. I'm alive? Are we still pretending that Atsushi isn't immortal? Like, this is so not surprising. I thought it was agreed that Atsushi is, like, objectively immortal. Dazai. It's dangerous here. They'll shoot at you from above. I don't think they will. Nice, Dazai's here to wrap everything up. How convenient. And that is episodes, you know, wh whatever and whatever of Bungo Stray Dogs. These were definitely the best two episodes I've seen in a while. Not like <laughs> in the whole grand scheme of my life. I mean, um, Bungo Stray Dogs. I know this is like American bias, um, but it definitely has gotten more fun now that I recognize the authors. I never thought that that would actually be like a factor in my entertainment value of this show, but it is very fun and silly to, <laughs> to see Mark Twain 
try and snipe Atsushi out of the sky. That's cool. On top of that, things are just like revving up. I like that there's this like three-way power struggle going on right now. And apparently uh, the detective agency is about to link up with the Port Mafia, which is cool. If I had to give, not, not even a grievance, but I'd be more excited about the Port Mafia teaming up with the uh, detective agency if the power system in this show was a little more interesting. Because there isn't really like a power combination that I would want to see out of these two groups, you know? Like in Naruto, right? Naruto's a great example. In that show, if like, you know, the good guys and the villains were teaming up, there's so much potential for sick combination jutsus to happen. Whereas here it's like, I don't know, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised but the best I could think of is maybe, like, Octagawa giving Atsushi's tiger some, like, cool shadow armor or something. You know, I can't really see how, like, Chuya and Dazai can work together very well. I can't see how, like, Kunikita can contribute a ton to, like, Chuya's ability. But, you know, that's not even really a complaint. That's just, like, would an X be cool if Y? But no, I'm very excited about where Bungo Stray Dogs is at the moment. And I gotta catch up fast, uh, considering that season four, I guess, just came out. Oh, we got a movie to do. We got another season. We got a lot. But let me know what your thoughts on these episodes are in the comments below. I'll be there replying to your comments. See you there. And I will see you guys next time.